Answer D. The karate chop on the side of the tube produces a higher pitch. Hits to the cardboard tube make the air in it oscillate, causing a sound. Such sounds are pressure, i.e. longitudinal waves. The pressure along the wave cycle is sometimes zero, sometimes maximum in one direction, then again zero and then again maximum in the other direction. Places with zero pressure are called wave nodes. With maximum pressure, wave crests or wave troughs are created depending on the direction. The distance between two wave peaks is called wavelength, pronounced lambda. The distance between two adjacent wave nodes is therefore half the wavelength. The right open end always has a wave node, because this is where waves enter and exit in opposite directions. When you hit the left opening with a flat hand, this end of the tube is closed so the maximum air pressure builds up there. The length of the tube thus corresponds to the distance between one wave node and the next wave crossed. The length of the tube corresponds to the distance between one wave node and the next wave crest. In example, a quarter wavelength, lambda over four. With a karate chop to the left side of the tube, this side is open where there is a wave node as well as on the right end. The length of the tube is thus a half wavelength, lambda over two, and thus twice as large as in the first case. The pitch of the sound is exactly one octave higher.